good morning and happy tuesday right now it is may 23rd it feels so good to be able to talk to you guys again hot breath and all but i'm gonna go ahead and get up spare you guys give me one second i don't know why but my tv i don't have cable i don't pay for cable but i guess it has channels but they're outdated i've seen every single one of these episodes at least 10 times it was hell's kitchen that would show up on my tv but now it's um it's not honey boo boo but it's a show that's centered around her mom but it's like the same family and all of that this has been running on my tv for days um i feel like i have not talked to you guys in forever i wanted to film this video days ago it says it was supposed to rain yesterday actually all week but i just decided we're not gonna listen to that because it's florida and if i base all my plans on the weather i'm gonna end up doing nothing and it's not even gonna rain but um if you guys did watch my last video i did want to apologize for the quality it is absolutely atrocious and i feel so bad as much as i love the camcorder i'm gonna save it for just like pictures and probably just videos i'll post on other socials because i don't want it to deter the quality of my videos like let me show you for an example i took these on that little sony camcorder and they turned out so good it's just a different look i love how they turned out and what's crazy is i do have this camera as well hold on it's in my purse i have a sony cyber shot but this is like a little digital camera that also takes sick pictures say cheese yeah so i wanted to talk about the quality because it was like hard for me to watch like i've gotten so used to the quality being so good as well i was really wanting to go to the beach today but this is what our weather's looking like well i put it specifically to the beach i was planning to go to because i wanted to make sure and i saw it was raining all week before i even started this video if i'm gonna go to the beach like i'm not going to lay out in the sand with little to no clothing if there's clouds in the sky like it just feels if the sun isn't out i'm not going and it was like looking okay this morning and what's annoying is that it didn't rain once yesterday this is what the sky looks like right now. I don't know, it's questionable. I mean, I definitely wouldn't go with this cloud in the sky. It just kind of depends on where that's gonna go. There is other things that I was planning to do throughout the next few days, but it wasn't nearly as fun as, as that, like. <laughs> That sucks. It did actually end up raining, I didn't even notice. I don't know if that's gonna be it today, but I'm not risking it. So as far as my outfit, I think I'm gonna go with the same exact jeans I wear on almost a daily basis. I have the other ones that I got um, tailored, but overall, these ones I got tailored. I like the style of these better. I don't know. If I had other pairs that fit exactly like this, but were different, I would be wearing them. But like if I have these options and I wear the ones that aren't my favorite, knowing I feel like I look better in the other ones, it just makes sense to wear the ones that I really like. So I was going to take you guys thrifting. I wanted to do that tomorrow, but I'm actually going to go ahead and go today since the weather isn't exactly what I had planned on it being today. And I really just want to find more bottoms. It's so easy to pick up all of the cute shirts that you find, which I mean, if I find any tops I like, I'll get them. But my goal is still to find good bottoms, jeans, but also shorts. 
I have skirts. Yeah, I wanted to wear these and then I had these two tops as options to wear. I have this really cool t-shirt and then I have this. I mean, I knew it wasn't like a full on top, but it's literally like a bra. But I'm gonna try both on. It's so weird because I'm so used to wearing high-waisted jeans. You pull these up and you expect them to keep going higher, but they stop so low. I have so many belts. I just, like I have options, but I just choose to wear the same thing every day. Favorite belt. Don't get me wrong, it's cute. It's just little to nothing. But at the same time, if I were to wear a crop top that was a little longer than this, it would maybe be here. So how much of a difference is half an inch really making? Plus it's Miami, like I could get away with it. I'll probably wear that. Wear this. But let me just see how this shirt. This one's so cute too. I'd rather just wear this on like a chill day with just leggings or something. I just turned on my AC, so hopefully I can dry off just to get soaked again. I did actually order a phone case off of Etsy, and I'm so excited about it. Look at this phone case. Look at this phone case. This is a Lisa Frank phone case. It's crazy because these are all brands that I definitely... Like, I knew what Lisa Frank was when I was younger. But you don't really appreciate things like this until you get older because now they just feel like classics. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. All right, I just got to our first location of the day. It's still super busy. I mean, I wasn't expecting anybody's life to stop because it's raining, but um, I don't know. I just thought maybe it'd be a little less busy, but it's not. There's so many shops around here though. It could be anything, not just the Google. small but those are still so cute leave the house because it was raining i was gonna get completely drenched with no clothes on I'm back in the car. I spent $23. I did go ahead and get this skirt. Although it doesn't fit me, it'll fit somebody. And I I just need somebody to own this skirt. Yeah. Damn, it's so cute too. I got these pair of jeans that we tried on that they were a little tough to put on. But once I put them on, the fit was too perfect to not buy them. And hopefully when I'm not in like a hot Goodwill and my skin isn't sticky mixed with lotion, they'll be easier to put on hopefully. I got these shorts. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of jean shorts, but I did at least, I want at least a couple pairs. I prefer the flare at the ends opposed to the fold. Like, I don't really like how, I don't really want to wear those anymore. So, I also really like to wear them for the beach if I don't want to wear a see-through cover-up if I plan on going other places besides the beach. I got these comfy shorts. These are actually from ASOS. I love getting um, comfy shorts just to sleep in from Google, and yeah, that's it. I took off my shirt in the store because it was too hot. Thanks for calling Studs. 
Our team is unavailable to answer calls, but our digital phone agent can give you the quickest service possible. Our studio is open every day, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Walk-ins are welcome. Piercing appointments can also be made online at studs.com. Speaking of piercings, I did get my nose re-pierced. I wasn't sure if I was going to, but it just felt so wrong to not have both since I'm so used to having double nose piercing. So he was basically able to like... I basically saved $20 on the piercing because he was able to find the same hole it hadn't completely closed. It was close enough to where a dull nose ring wouldn't go in, but he was able to get the needle through and that shit fucking hurt. Like, I don't know if there was some scar tissue there or something, but, um, yeah, it's done. And he said since it went, just the way he pierced it, or since he went through the same hole, I don't have to go through the healing process again. I don't know. Well, I'm on my way to Winwood now. There's one other, it's actually a Salvation Army that I've been to one other time and I loved. I found some really good things there, but I've yet to take you guys there. I just like their style of clothing better also. <sighs> um, <laughs> there is also this piercing place that you may have heard of before. It's been there for a while, but it's called Studs and it's just like a completely different ear piercing experience. It's not like your average tattoo shop. I mean, piercing shop, and they only do ear piercings. They don't do any other facial piercings as far as I'm aware. And um, I've always wanted to go. I've just never went. But I do want to get more piercings on my right ear. I'm gonna leave the left one alone. I just want them on one ear so yeah you can basically pick your placement they have so many different earrings to choose from that you can get pierced with so yeah i called and there was no one it said you could either it was like a robot but it said you could either just walk in and you only need to schedule an appointment you can schedule online or if you go with um somebody else you guys need to schedule but it said walk-ins are fine so i'm just gonna go with that and i'll definitely film the process for you guys but yeah i am 15 minutes away right now so i'll get back to you guys in a little bit Okay, so I'm out of the Salvation Army now. I came when they're they're on the verge of closing. It's 450. They close at six. So I feel like everything had kind of been picked through. I didn't really find much in there. I just got two pairs of sleep shorts because I was like just getting comfortable lounge pieces. So I got some really cute shorts. And then I found like a cheetah print ribbed tube top, which was so cute. I've been wanting a cheetah print. Oh, it was like a tank top that I was wanting, but a tube top, I would do that too. So yeah, I'm very happy that I found that. I'm now about to go get food. I'm gonna get tacos as I always do in this area. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna go to Studs. I'm really hungry right now. Like, I wasn't gonna wait till I get got home because I have food at home. I'll cook dinner, but for lunch, I'm gonna go ahead and buy it because I cannot wait till I get home. Plus, if I try to go to that piercing place, if I try to go get a piercing, with no food in my system and me being prone to passing out, like that's just an awful idea. Almost missed my turn. <laughs> if y'all were in my passenger seat, y'all get flinged to the front. Okay, I'm back in the car now. Got my food, super happy about it. If I did not have to pee so bad right now, I would just, um, what do you call it? Eat them all here in one sitting, but I have to pee so bad. And I know that piercing place, like they gotta have a bathroom for the nerves. So, then I'm gonna just like eat one or two on the way. Go do that and then head back to my area because I'm in no rush to um, drive home the traffic. It's gonna take almost an hour to get home right now. Why is it not loading? I have no napkins. God. 
literally have to make like a six point turn and there's a car. I apologize for how uneventful today has been. The fact that the sun's coming out now, I mean, I'm very thankful, but I just wished it would have been sunny earlier in the day. It's all good. We have tomorrow. But I'm gonna go ahead and head back. Hopefully I've missed some of the rush. Okay, there's still some, but it's not as bad. It's 35 minutes away right now. Okay guys, so I'm back home now. I was sitting in traffic majority of the ride, but I'm happy to be back home. Anyways, I'm back home. I changed into some comfy pants. We are finally going to juice. First of all, I ate my four tacos and I'm still starving and because I had a smaller breakfast and I haven't been snacking throughout the day. So that did absolutely nothing for me. But long story short about the juicer, by the time I went to actually juice the produce that I got in my last video, um, it was nowhere to be found. Like I have no idea where my juicer went. I had to delete the box SD card even though there's little to nothing on it. But it was like, yeah, even if I wanted to juice in the video, it was nowhere to be found. So I guess it was meant to be. I mean, not necessarily because I did have to buy a new one. Like my apartment, it's not the smallest, but it's also nowhere near the biggest. If the juicer was here, I would have found it by now. I was looking for at least two hours for that juicer. And all I was doing was looking in the same places over and over again because, you know, sometimes you can miss it the first, but it was nowhere to be found. So I ordered the same one, which sucks but I'm thankful I was able to afford another one because even if I didn't purchase the second one when I did, I would have ended up getting another one anyways. And I already got produce. I've not used that produce that's sitting in my fridge. It's on the brink of going bad. It's still usable. The only thing that's questionable is the beet. It's a little squishy, but I think it'll be okay to juice. But let's just go ahead and actually use the juicer. I love my apartment, bro. Like, I just like, I like being in it. Feels nice, feels nice to be back. I am such a home body. I, I like to get out, but I will always appreciate coming back. I didn't even do anything either. It's just the weather today that was kind of. You guys want to eat? Okay, let me feed you first. Place the juice container under the drum. Okay. So that's it. What's this? I missed something. What is this? We're done! Okay, that was fairly simple. What is this? Oh my gosh. I don't think this is necessary. So I still have all my produce from the last time as you guys can see this is literally the last day it would have survived like this is already starting to get wilted but but we were really starting to push it yeah the beet was um it's a little soft but I don't know I'm hoping it's kind of like the anti or the focus on this camera stretch I'm hoping like it's kind of it's really you can see it's not super soft, but I'm hoping it's like a banana that goes kind of old, but it's still good for shakes and stuff. And then the cucumbers, this is just ice. I thought that was mold for a second. Cucumbers are completely fine. Ginger, apples, carrots, for sure I need to get, oh my God, bro. Yeah, these, um, I don't know. Can I eat a soft carrot? Can you eat a squishy, can you eat a squishy carrot? I cannot. Not you. It tastes fine though. Beets literally taste and smell like dirt, but they're really good for you. And whenever you mix them with the right things, it's, you don't taste it, but like literal dirt, but they're so good for you for so many reasons. Damn, I can't, I, I have not even ingested any sort of beet, like any beet in probably 10 years. Beets also stain things very easily. It's like a natural dye. 
So. All right, so we have everything all cut up now. I'm gonna turn on the juicer and we're just gonna see. see what happens. And you know what, I'm gonna get the big, to the car. I was gonna get the big tripod for that camera, but it's Okay, wait, before I cut up more cucumber, let's put kale in. beautiful colors. I'm gonna figure out something I can do with this. So this is our juice. I would love to put it in the fridge first, but the cucumber I used was pretty much frozen, so I think it's cool enough to drink. I'm not gonna sit here and drink the whole thing right now, I don't think, but I just want to see if it's missing anything or if I want to add more of something. It's just gonna be a little trial and error because it's my first time. I ran out of storage, but I was saying it's really good, but I did not realize such little ginger would be so potent in the drink. So it's kind of spicy. I just taste it more than I would like to. The shit kind of burned the back of my throat. So I'm gonna transfer this to... Dude, I swear nothing works like those dish pods. I can't, I don't remember which ones they are, but I try to use like the natural ones and my shit comes out cloudy like every time. It never fails. Ew, like I clean these were cleaned for four hours and they're they look dirty. So I'll be cleaning those again. Um This is how I'm gonna store the juice because I have so many mason jars and no use for them. But now I do. Okay, so we're gonna juice the rest of I ended up juicing the rest of the green apple and the cucumber. It didn't really help as much as I thought it would. I just mixed it with a little bit of some 100% pineapple juice that I had and it actually made it really good, very enjoyable. But now I know moving forward how to adjust it and not make it so bitter, but not bad for a first time. So I'm currently getting ready for bed, it's 10.30. The last couple of hours have flown by, but as I was getting ready for bed, I was thinking about how I should just be filming this, even though I'm not doing anything. So I'm using my Foreo facial brush with um, the same cleanser I've been using for quite some time now. The gentle foaming moisturizer wash. I had a breakout recently in between my eyebrows, and I don't know why. I thought it was maybe from shaving them, because I'm sure it's not the best, but. 
It only happened on one side. My, when the other side wasn't affected. So I thought I was gonna cook tonight. But I do have so many microwave meals that I can eat. So it's late, but I'm gonna um, eat one of those. And I'll just prepare ahead of time tomorrow to make sure, cause I hadn't even had anything thought out. Um, so I just would have ended up cooking way later than I'd like to. As much as I just want to eat popcorn or something right now, I'm going to eat something with some actual substance. So. I don't know if I've tried this one. I feel like I have. I think I definitely have. I can't remember the heat, how the heat was on this one because it says it's fiery chicken curry and curries. Um, yeah. It can have some spice to it. But, um, I just ventilated and it's just pee on high for three minutes. That's gonna be my dinner. It's so late, but I really need to put this stuff in the dryer that I washed earlier that I um, got from Google. But I have stuff in the dryer, so I'm just gonna breeze through that real quick. Um, and I'll eat at the same time. because my hair actually looks good like i'd love to wear it down but it already started raining and it was already humid before it even started raining so i don't think it would stand a chance a part of me just wants to leave like this because i don't even think i have time to do my hair anyway let me see what time it is i have a little bit of time i can do my hair i just added other lashes on the ones i normally do i'm gonna add one more to this side this looks janky let me just rip this one off Cause I didn't like the style of them. Not as much as the ones I normally use. At least it's like a calm rain. So I'll be safe driving it. Cause yesterday it was just a point where the roads were flooding. I'm in the car now. I had to rush, like fly out of my place because I was just casually looking up 
the direction holy shit that lightning looked like a strike to close yeah basically just due to traffic it was gonna take longer to get there than i had planned and i set my appointment for 1 40 because i had one then and then the next one was at 4 p.m but i'm trying to be back at the house by that time so i booked that and then they only have a five minute grace period and it says i'm gonna get there at 1 42 so i'm gonna have basically two minutes to find a parking spot in Wynwood, parallel park and walk to studs i mean hopefully we can find something fairly close i didn't have an issue yesterday i mean the day before i also like i was just getting ready to do my hair while i was at home but i didn't even have time so i just threw it i made my part i have no idea what it looks like i just put it into a messy little space buns brought all my products into the car and the traffic's so bad that i was able to just do my hair while going two miles an hour so um yeah i actually don't even know what it looks like i didn't lay my edges or anything either or clean it up with edge gel so i'm gonna do that but yes i'm super excited to go to studs today get pierced for real this time i booked an appointment so it's guaranteed as long as i get there and get inside by 145. Good. Right. <laughs> um, I've had my conch before actually, okay. and I don't remember it being that bad. Out of all of mine, that was probably the easiest one. Really? Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and open everything up. I'll show you how the jewelry works. Okay. Where are you gonna upload? Um, YouTube? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I make YouTube videos. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a stress ball there in case you have that. I know you're also holding your camera. <laughs> yeah. So the way that I pierce, I'll have you take a deep breath in, deep breath out. When you exhale, it's when I'll pierce you, so no surprises or anything. Okay. Um, the jewelry is a flat back style, so it's gonna kind of look like this when it's in your ear. Okay. To open it, just grab both sides, pull apart, doesn't twist or anything, okay? So I'm gonna place my hand behind your ear, and I'll let you know when to take that big deep breath, okay? You're All right, deep breath in, and out. perfect. You did great. We are putting in the back of the jewelry, so the back is gonna be a little bit long to give you room in case you swell. In three months, come back and we'll shorten it for you, okay? Okay. So we're gonna do the same exact thing. All right, deep breath in. And out. Did you have the conch on the same ear? I think I did. Oh, you know where that scar is actually from? I used to have an industrial on yeah. that ear, but it never healed and I had that same. for so I took mine out. All right, she's there. Yay, thank you so much. Oh, I'm piercing really quick. Okay. All right, so I'm back in the car. My piercings are done. They were not bad whatsoever. My nose piercing definitely hurt a lot more. The flat helix, which is the one further up, it's actually bleeding a little bit now. That was little to nothing. I, I wouldn't even say it hurt. You just felt the pinch. Then the conch, I felt it a little more, but it wasn't bad. If anything, it's the lingering throbbing you feel more than anything. But I'm all done. That was a super smooth experience and I'm really happy I went. <laughs> 